his wife on their wedding day, an attack so vicious that the judge described it as a flogging. Now this is an important story and we urge you to watch it, but some of the pictures are confronting, so you may not want your little ones in the room. He was like, like wild animal. That was a horror, like horror movie. I thought that I'm going to die, that's it. It's hard to believe, but this is Farida's wedding day. Two years ago, it was also different. 29-year-old Farida, living in Macedonia, was swept off her feet by a young Australian on holiday. He was a very good guy. Cute, sweet, I loved him. This was fairy tale stuff, a whirlwind romance. Then he asked me to be his wife, and I was really happy about that. How long after you first met him, and he said, will you be my wife? How long was that? Uh, maybe one month and a half later. Honouring Macedonian tradition, Farida and Adnan had a civil ceremony in her home country attended by her family. But her new life and the full-blown white wedding was to be here in Australia. Adnan flew home to Melbourne and Farida followed him three months later for her exciting new life with the man she adored. Well, I arrived there and, you know, hello, hi with everyone, but uh, and then he didn't seem like he's happy. Yeah, well, he, you, you went to hug him and he said no? Yes. In a new country, in a new romance, with a wedding in the wings, and totally alone, Farida was confused. He was not talking with me. What was wrong? I don't know. That's the question that I'm still wondering why. And I was just hoping that I, I'll get back that Adnan, that the good guy that I made overseas. But as the wedding drew closer, Adnan grew stranger, demanding and controlling. The most weird for me is he was asking for me when I talk not to move my eyebrows. He said that uh, one day if I talk with his friends or something and if I move my eyebrows, they might think that I want something with them. I had to have an extreme makeup every day because he was saying that I look ugly. You look ugly. Yeah. What else did he want you to do that was weird? He wanted me to become a blonde, blondie. And because I wear glasses for my eyes, he said that I look very ugly with the glasses. So he took me to the doctor to buy a contact. And the worst thing is that the contacts, they had to be blue. Did you do all that? Yes, I did. Why? Because I was afraid. And with good reason. The groom was beating her on a regular basis. Finally, she went to the police. Uh, the first time when police came, he started crying in front of the police because he promised that he will be better. I stayed there. Why did you go through with the wedding? Why didn't you walk away? Why? Where? I had no one. And Farida was still in love. Women stay for a whole raft of reasons, and often they want the relationships to survive, but the violence to stop. Jane Ashton from the Women's Domestic Violence Crisis Service has seen it all before. A lot of women stay like Farida did, particularly young women. Those warning lights were going off, but she felt trapped. May 23, last year. What does that date mean to you? in your mind? Well, that's the... That's the biggest... That was a tragedy, actually. Wearing the wedding dress he chose, the bridal party hopped in a stretch hummer for a photo shoot at Parliament House before a reception with 300 people. So, Farida, it's your wedding day. He sits here, you sit there. How is he? Is he okay? 
No, he's angry. Why? Because there is no more champagne. He'd consumed a bottle of scotch. At Parliament House, the wedding party, bride, groom, best man, bridesmaids and page boy gathered for photos. But there was a hiccup, a big one. The groom couldn't stand up. This looks more like circus, not like wedding. On the way to the reception in front of the entire wedding party, including children, something old, something new, something borrowed, something black and blue. So you're you're putting your hands up? Oh yeah, yeah, I tried to he's, defend. He's punching you? He just keep doing it and he started choking me. Farida was punched 27 times in the head, bitten on the cheek, choked, headlocked by an out of control groom. But the guys lucky that they they were trying to stop him. Otherwise, I believe that I, I was going to die. At the reception, 300 shocked guests watched the bride stumble from the hummer, sobbing and covered in blood. Farida spent that night in hospital. Police charged Adnan Rozhanovsky with recklessly causing serious injury. When was the last time you saw that? It's not so easy. He's a loving and caring brother. Adnan's family is furious that he's being portrayed as a monster. Sister Nerman, brother-in-law Latif, and Jacinta, he his new girlfriend. Involved. But it wasn't something that he intentionally did. When you're high intoxicated, certain things happen. What he did was monstrous, though. He's not a monster. Adam is probably quite an extreme perpetrator, but there are a lot of typical characteristics there. He had an incredible sense of entitlement. Um, he had very, very little respect for women. This is horrible. Oh, this was your wedding day. That's right. Oh, my God. How is your life now? It feels like being in hell and when you come out, there are a lot of scarves and they are so still. Can you love another man again? I hope so. It's a horrific story, isn't it? And while her husband was given a 15-month sentence, 